And we're back. Thanks for hanging on there. Um, if you're having trouble seeing the live stream, uh, please reload your browser. And that's if you get a blank screen. I will be here until noon uh, broadcasting. And mainly we're trying to concentrate on people that are being arrested. So yes, if you have a blank screen, please reload. Refresh your browser. Association of San Francisco. And we sat down, and the first thing the Colonel said was, Penny, would you lead us in a prayer? It could be in your language. So Barbara and I, and the Colonel, and the Attorney, and Heather, joined hands in a circle, and we prayed. And we pray for all of you, and we pray for the sacred system of life, and we pray for the defenders and protectors of the sacred system of life, wherever they are, especially our sisters and brothers on the front lines in North Dakota. And we pray for the police and the military and everyone else involved, that we all stand on the same side, that we all understand that our enemies are not each other, that our enemies are the wayward ways of thinking that colonization has created. And once upon a time, it was beautiful. Like 15 minutes ago, once upon a time. <laughs> and so, we gave them a letter. Barbara's an attorney, so she talked about attorney talk. Which meant saying, roll it back as far as possible, as quickly as possible, in a manner that will require a very long time, if ever, to go back forward. So, they didn't disagree exactly. And they listened. They listened. They listened to things that are happening at Standing Rock that they didn't know about. Just like last time we were here on September 8th. They didn't know about the dog attacks. They didn't know about the ripping apart of the camps. There's lots of things that they didn't know. And I mentioned how I understood that all of the Army Corps of Engineers offices are in silos. And they said, oh, we're 
we're glad you understand that. So San Francisco has no jurisdiction over what's happening in North Dakota. That's the Omaha, Ottawa, Portland, and Seattle. But they know, actually they told me, they told us, that this is happening in 80 places across the country today. Uh, Penny Opal Plant, one of the lead organizers of today's demonstration, uh, just mentioned that uh, this is one of 80 protests that have been scheduled around the United States against the North, against the Dakota Access Pipeline. And to do it with nonviolence, and to stay within the prayer, and to stay within the prophecies. Uh, thank you, Mr. Orbit. And we're going to be here until noon. So stick with us. Uh, Market Street is still blocked off uh, between Van Ness and 10th Street. So the Serpent Street is blocked. Uh, there are no buses coming down here. Uh, no public transportation. You have to go underground. Every one of these people wanted a hug from her. You couldn't just shake hands after that. You had to hug everybody. They wanted to hug her. They wanted her to lead them in prayer. They, you know, it was very inspiring in that way. Maybe under the current crisis, the opposite sides can actually be Because this woman made it happen right in there. So my privilege. What's up, you? You're watching the screen there. The people that are seated are the people that are risking arrest. So you can see them uh, barely behind the lines of police officers. Speak with the power of nonviolence, no matter what happens. We speak understanding that truly we are all related. And we're going to stick with it until they get arrested. Here again, if we need to be, we'll come here again. We will go to the Delta to protect our beautiful Delta. We will go to the Bay to protect our beautiful Bay. But we can't stop. We have to keep standing. Right now we're standing with Standing Rock because they provided the signal. It's a signal to all of us that we need to stand up for the earth and air and water and soil wherever we are. So are we together? Now this looks like to be a women's action. I don't see any men over here. So this is a women, a women's led action. I know there's a number of folks out there that came to speak, and you know we have to come speak. We had you know good words to share. So for those folks who haven't been able to share their words and haven't been able to speak, thank you for coming. I'm sorry we couldn't get to everybody, but we just. We, uh, we only have so much time in the day, and we only, uh, we only can accommodate so many people, of the many folks who have so many things to say, so much wisdom to share, 
Thank you for coming out. Thank you for standing with us. Uh, I guess they're asking me to end with the Unity song, which I was taught by by Don Patrick up in uh, the Pacific. Um, and uh, it's, it's a song which I really love the spirit of. He, he offered to share it with me. And he said that I could share it with whoever. He said that this is the equality song. And this is a song because we're all equal. Everybody, we're all equal. So it's, just a, it's not a song that any of us can lay claim to any more than any other. So I guess I'll, I'll just go with it. Gloria, oh, Gloria, Okay, um, I'm just being informed that there were several arrests in North Dakota on the front line. Uh, yes, um, if you'd like to get um, watch a daily live stream of what's going on in North Dakota, um, I really strongly endorse the Unicorn Riot folks. Uh, that's Unicorn Riot on live stream. And they are, they're actually on scene, and they'll give you uh, some great coverage. Thanks for uh, tweeting me out on the chat room there, Mr. Orbit. Uh, the woman on the right is Penny Oval Plant, and she's one of the lead organizers of this particular event. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh no, it's a live stream. So. Uh, you stream. You stream. Yeah. So the march is going to be leaving, but I'm going to stick around here because uh, this is where the action is going to be here in a minute. So we're not leaving. I'm waiting for the money shot here. You know it, you know it. You get charged with it. Looks like the march is going to be leaving from here, but uh, we're going to stick around. Uh, the the uh, protesters have gotten up. Uh, they're no longer seated. The police are going to close the street for us. So let's get the banners and the parachute to my right and head back to the plaza. But let's let the indigenous folks lead the way.
try to get a uh, photo here, folks. Bear with me. Now I'm just waiting for the police officer to get out of the way. So he can get a shot. That's it. I'm going to let everybody go here in just a minute. So there were no arrests. So actually, I'm kind of disappointed. God dang it. All right, the march is leaving. I am not personally going to go on the march. I've got other things to do and a, a full day of other direct action. Um, and again, if you're in the Bay Area, come down to the Berkeley Civic Center. Uh, we have a, a homeless camp in, and we've been there a week. Uh, that's at Austin Way and Milvia, uh, one block east of the Berkeley downtown Berkeley Bar. Uh, and we're there 24-7. So do stop by if you happen to be there in town. Um, and I'm not going on the rest of the march because uh, i got to go to the bathroom and whatnot, and you don't want to hear all about that. So uh, much love and much peace to everybody that was watching today. Uh, this has been your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. Everybody.